Hello, I'm cleaning out the duck house this morning and uh, I thought I'd do that before I have a shower and uh, untap all my uh, slightly unruly mop this morning. And uh, so I'm about three quarters or maybe even seven eighths of the way through mucking out the duck house. I've, uh, I've taken all the old material out and taken it down to, uh, down to the pumpkin patch where it will uh, rot down nicely uh, and we can plant pumpkins in it next year. And I'm just putting, I'm just putting the new bedding uh, in. <laughs> I've just covered myself. <laughs> uh, just putting the new bedding into their house, and uh, and then they'll be they'll be clean and dry tonight, which will be nice for them. We've said goodbye to one of the ducks this morning, one of the older girls, uh, with uh, some of the some black on her beak. Uh, and this is not Mrs. Warren. Mrs. Warren will never be said goodbye to uh, until we absolutely have to uh, for uh, either old age or ill health. Um, I'm just I'm looking over at her there. She is absolutely my favourite duck ever. Uh, no, she was our first. She was in our first pair of ducks, and uh, and she will be with us uh, for her full life. Uh, so uh, today we've got 11 uh, 11 adult ducks. And I need to take that down to uh, five or six, so one boy and uh, four girls, or one boy and five girls, uh, to see us through the winter. And there are also uh, 12 ducklings, uh, and some of those ducklings may uh, stay with us, and uh, some of the older girls go. Uh, we'll just wait and see. We'll wait and see how uh, how we get on. Uh, but the duck this morning, uh, when she was dressed. Uh, she weighed in at uh, just a smidge under five pounds which uh, is, is pretty good for an old girl uh, so my plans for her are to roast her and then to casserole her uh, because we like the flavour of roast duck um, and so that will happen in the next couple of days but right now I need to get this lot spread out over the floor there you go all sorted out all ready for them tonight Hurrah, another job done. And this morning, once I've uh, had a shower and got myself uh, reasonably tidy again, we are taking Tabitha to the vet uh, because Tabitha has a slight behaviour problem in as much as she has taken to piddling in the house and uh, she has a litter tray uh, and she's had a litter tray ever since we got them. Uh, in the boot room which she uses uh, to poop in and then she gets out of it and piddles on the floor and she also has been piddling on the floor in the hall and in the kitchen uh, and she also asks to go out so we let her out and uh, she runs around outside and then comes back in and pees on the floor which well, yeah, is not normal behaviour. And so we're going to ask the vet uh, to check to see whether she has uh, a bladder infection uh, or, or bloody mindedness. <laughs> we're not sure which it is, uh, but something there is really not right. Well, we're back from the vet and uh, he said he doesn't think she has an infection, uh, but that it's a behaviour problem. So. Oh, poor old Missy Moo. It looks like Tabitha has got some sort of behavioural issues going. And he has advised us to use a plug-in pheromone dispenser. Uh, so he's supplied us with this thing that we plug into the, into the socket that uh, has some sort of oil, a bit like an air freshener thing. Anyway, it, uh, it supposedly gives off a calming, relaxing <laughs> pheromone. Uh, that the cats find comforting and and hopefully that will uh, reduce the amount of stress that she's under and uh, will stop some of her uh, less sociable behaviours. So we'll see. Uh, we've got a month's supply and, uh, and I will report back uh, in due course about whether the little Miss Piddlepants has, uh, has stopped doing her evil deed. 
And that's it for today. I'm headed back over to the chopping block to uh, carry on chopping apples. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one for you. And I also hope you can join me again next time. Oh, 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 oh,